add a little lemon juice to my shrimp. Let's taste it. Salmon seasoned with Be Love Smackalicious. Mm. Oh, oh. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click bait. Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. Today, you guys, I'm gonna be cooking and eating. I have Be Love Smackalicious sauce today, y'all. I'm making it two ways. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. Hope y'all ready, cause I am. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, I am back. So, let me tell you what I have. I have a salmon steak here and I have sprinkled it with Be Love, the sauce mix. I have some raw giant shrimp, asparagus, I have some already made rice with sausage, I got an egg that I'm going to be cracking over my rice, hopefully it works this time, butter, lemons, I got my already prepared b -Love sauce sitting on the burner, staying warm while I cook this up for you guys, so let's get started. Alright guys, let's go. The grill is warmed up and ready to go y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and Put some olive oil around here and I use olive oil and butter so half and half instead of using all butter try to be somewhat good okay so I'm gonna cook the salmon for you guys first and I start with the skin side on top first when I have skin on salmon so we're gonna get the hopefully get the um, other side brown nicely and then let it cook on the skin side for the most of the way. Also gonna throw my asparagus on this side. Get those going. All right, I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on my asparagus. So how you guys doing? I am so hungry. <laughs> okay, I'm so hungry. I do have a topic today, doing a viewer topic later on. We are gonna get this cooked and eaten first, okay? I ain't never cooked asparagus on the grill, y'all. I think I'm gonna squeeze a little lemon on my asparagus. I'm not going to be seasoning the asparagus or the shrimp very much, you guys, because I'm gonna be dipping both of those in the Be Love sauce, which is very, very seasoned, okay? So I just wanna taste that deliciousness that she has going on in her sauce. This is working out really well, actually. I like, I don't like to cook my asparagus too much. I still want to have a little bite to it. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to throw my uh, shrimp on there now, too, so I can just get it done. And we can chit-chat. So who out there has tried to use Be Love sauce in a different way? I want to try it in several different ways and, you know, see what how else we can use this sauce, you guys. So if you have any ideas that you guys want me to try, please let me know in the comments. I'm gonna throw the shrimp. <laughs> throw the shrimp right there. I still have the skin on, you guys, because I like to be able to trap up the sauce inside of the shrimp shell. Just a little bit. A little bit of salt and pepper. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna go get rid of this, wash my hands, and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back, guys. Let me put a little lemon juice on the inside of that. Add a little lemon juice to my shrimp. Ooh, this, is, this is about to be bomb. I already know, y'all. Now, I got an egg here, y'all. I'm going to attempt to cook this correctly this time so it can um, crack nicely over my rice. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. All right, you guys. I'm about to flip this. I'm about to flip them. Hopefully, it comes. Hopefully, it doesn't stick. I hate that. I think it's going to be good. Alright, it looks beautiful too. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. Woo! Once you flip it on the skin side, you can just let it go. You know? Because you don't care 
about the skin getting too burnt. But this side you want to be nicely browned as much as you like or not. So what I'm about to do is throw a little butter on top. Ooh, that smells so good, you guys. Now remember, I seasoned this with the Beloved Smackalicious Sauce the Seasoning Pack. So we're gonna be tasting that. I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm gonna put a little lemon on top. Y'all, I'm so I'm so excited about this. I think my my asparagus look good. I think I'm gonna take these off. Okay, right there. Can you guys see them? It turned out ooh, it's super hot, but see they still have a nice crunch. Not too uh, flimsy, you guys. These shrimp look good too. I'm about to take them off because I don't want to overcook them. So I'm going to put my shrimp right in here. Ooh, look at that. Alright, you guys. So I'm going to add a little more butter. So I'm going to cook the egg right here. All right, guys, I'm gonna let these cook for about five minutes longer and I'll be back. Everything is done. I got my Be Love sauce back. Yes. What I'm gonna do is move that out the way for a second and then bring in my rice, y'all. Don't forget I had the sausage as well. So that's coming in. All right, we're gonna flip that over right here. Hopefully it comes out with no problem. Yes, it did. Awesome. All right, so we can put that there. Let's put the shrimp here so you guys can see that a little better. Okay. I can already tell my egg is not going to run like I want, y'all. I was doing too much. My nail broke. I tried to get it back on. Girl, I've been gone for 20 minutes, okay? Let's see how this egg works. Let's give it a little path. Let's give it a little path. Nope. <laughs> oh, nah. And a little bit, but no. Oh, God. I'll try again, y'all. I got to really undercook this because it seems like I always have issues when I'm filming. And then this ends up cooking too much. So, we're going to do it again. We're going to get it right one day. One day this is going to work. Okay. Let's, let's put some B-Love sauce right on top of there, too. My mouth is watering, y'all. Yes. Okay. Let's see how my salmon came out. Turned out, you guys. Let's cut it straight down the middle. Let's see what it's looking like. Beautiful. Yep. Very well cooked. Y'all see that? Still flaky. Salmon seasoned with Be Love Smackalicious. Mm. Oh, oh. You guys? Mm. Cooked bomb. Cooked very well, though. Seasoning is great. I was a little conservative when I was putting the seasoning on there because I was—I didn't want it to be too salty, you guys. It's not. I think I could have put a little bit more seasoning on there and been just fine. Look at that. Let's try it. Should I dunk it too? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is heaven. Oh, my baby missed out on this one. She missed out on this one now. Mm. Throw a little egg, I mean, throw a little sausage on top of that. Ooh, this is bomb. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, God, y'all. Just bowl as hot as hell. That was not a good idea. 
I wanted y'all to see. Mm. Ooh. This is like a <laughs> hundred times better than I thought it was gonna be, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'll make it into my topic, y'all. This is bomb. Let me put a little bit of the salmon. Whew. Mm, 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 mm. Salmon. See if I can make it into a volcano for y'all. Mmm. Y'all gotta try this. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm really shocked at how, how bomb it is. Like, it doesn't taste like this sauce at all. We all know I love the sauce. But that seasoning pack is something too. Oh my goodness. I thought it was gonna be more like this so i was thinking my son might not like it because he don't like a whole bunch of crazy flavors like i do but he would like this he loves salmon too he would like this salmon too y'all oh my goodness mm. Mm -mm -mm. i like to touch the taste i really might not even do a topic today y'all because my cooking kind of lasted a little bit too long and I don't feel, I really don't want to stop eating. Really, really don't. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read my topic, you guys. She says, me and my boyfriend have been together for three years. I love him so much, but he is super negative about every single thing that happens, whether it's life, work, etc. No matter what the situation is, I feel like he finds the bad in it, and he's always in a bad mood. I try talking to him to let him know no matter the situation, it could be worse, because at the end of the day, you have your life. But he kind of just brushes, brushes it off and I feel like he's becoming depressed. So I'm doing all I can to be there for him, but it doesn't seem to help his mood. And it's really weighing on me. I don't want to be in a bad mood every single day because of his negativity. And I just don't know what to do. My daughter and I love him and his son so much. And I want them to be in our lives. But I'm out of things to do because his negative attitude is putting a strain in our relationship. I just really need some advice. What do you guys think? Anybody dealing with this? Anybody... Has anybody dealt with this and got out of it? Let us know. Put it in the comments. If y'all have watched our channel, some of you probably already know that I've dealt with this before. I have a pretty good amount of experience dealing with this. I think I must attract people who have issues or maybe I might be one of those people who like to fix stuff um you know when you hear that or something y'all because I done met too many people who, who have been this way it's really hard to be a positive happy person when you're waking up to somebody who's depressed sad negative about everything that happens that's so hard who likes the skin that's like a burger 
Mm. Mm. <clears throat> so I completely understand. I don't think I have the patience to deal with that anymore. I know a lot of y'all think Tasha is a... Um, she definitely is a moody person, but she's not a negative person at all. And generally, if she wakes up, wakes up in the mood, she'll uh, snap out of it pretty fast. And we'll move on with our day. But I have dealt with somebody who is sad every single day. And all of my energy was put towards trying to make her happy every day. So I never had any energy for myself, y'all. Yeah. I was drained. I was drained and there was a point where I think I did throw myself into her problems too much because I did start to become sad and depressed more often too. You cannot do that. Especially you said you have a, a daughter, I believe. Yeah, you have a child yourself. So you need to make sure you are in a good mental and emotional state for your child. You can't be letting him drain you and bring you down and have you over here not able to do what you need to do for yourself, for your child. And so on. You said that you have tried. You know, I don't think you should just up and leave somebody as soon as they start having issues. I don't think that at all. But if you have tried and they refuse to get help themselves, they refuse to try to get themselves out of this mood, they refuse to try to see the positive and stuff, you gotta go. Wish him the best and roll out, okay? Tell him to seek some help. Maybe y'all can try to date again when he gets better. Maybe. But right now, he needs to take care of himself. You need to take care of yourself and your, and your child. That's what I think, you guys. What do you guys think? Y'all think I'm about to get out of here and stop stuffing myself? It's so hard, so hard to do. Mm. Shout out to Be Love's Life for making a really versatile sauce that people can customize, that we can do all kinds of stuff with. I love it. Can't wait till there's more on sale, y'all. And um, if y'all have anything you have done with this sauce that's different than what you see people doing, let me know because I want to try it. All right, you guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and let me know what you guys think. Please subscribe to our vlog channel. The link is in the description below. Make sure you set your post notifications to all so you don't miss any of our daily uploads, live streams, or premieres. We're going live tonight. So that was probably last night or night before. Sorry if you missed it. Turn your post notifications on so you don't miss the next one. Until next time, only good vibes. Peace.